Hey, welcome back to the Happy Trekkers channel. My name is Mike, and today we are going to talk about something very uh, specific, kind of a niche that many of you may not even care about. So if that's true, um, keep listening anyways, because you know you might learn something. But I'm going to talk to you about uh, how to change the image on your Toyota radio, and I do this because um, I just got a 4Runner, and I happened to find that you can do this. And I thought, well, that's kind of neat. Actually, if I had known this, I would have done it in my other Toyota just for the hell of it. So, but here's the deal. You can change the startup image on your Toyota radio and also what they call the off-screen image. So you can kind of turn your screens off, um, but it still displays an image. You can change those to whatever you want. So that's kind of neat, I thought. So um, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, caveat, I am not an electronics guy. I have installed, I've probably installed two radios my entire life, like since I was 15 till 51. So clearly not my big thing. I don't do that. I miss the entire 80s, fill your car with bass and all this. I didn't do that as a teenager. I don't do that now. This was super simple. Anybody can do that. It literally is mic proof. So if I can do it, you can do it. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a little uh, thumb drive, flash drive kind of thing like this. Very basic. This one's actually quite big. This is 128 gig. You don't need that. I mean, you can get away with anything pretty small because there's two different folders and you can put up to four pictures in there. It usually comes with default, so really you're adding up to three pictures. But nonetheless, and each of those pictures can be up to 10 uh, meg, which is very small. I mean, you can't get a flash drive more than, I mean, less than probably, I don't even know, 20, 50 gig. I mean, they're pretty small now. I mean, they, they hold a lot in such a small package. So uh, a picture worth 10 meg is pretty small. Uh, the dimensions of the JPEG has to be a JPEG. The dimensions of the JPEG are 800 by 480 pixels. Now, that's what I've been told. I, I The one picture looks like I might have some little black bars on the side. I can't tell if that's the, the radio itself, if the screen has a dimension issue, or maybe I could have stretched that picture a little bit more. Try it on your own, see what happens. You're not going to break the system. It just is going to look a little wonky if it doesn't quite fit. But again, I've been told 800 by 480. You're going to create two files, and I'll show you here in a second what they look like. So you're going to put two files on your thumb drive. Now, someone told me that you have to only have those two files on your thumb drive. I don't think that's true because I have a random file that came with the uh, thumb drive from ScanDisk or SanDisk. So I have three folders on there, one for the startup image, one for the off image, and one for SanDisk. Maybe that's fine, but do what you want. Again, that's what they say. They say two folders. Those folders have to be specifically named. I'm going to put that on the screen as to what they're exactly called. But you just create these two folders. You load your JPEG, JPEGs in there, and then you can load it right into the system, which I will show you how to do right now. Okay, so here we go. So look, you can see that I have a standard uh, flash drive, thumb drive, and I've plugged it in right here where you have the, uh, the USB auxiliary port. So just a standard thumb drive. You're only going to have a couple pictures on there, so any size that you have laying around. Now, I've been told you can only have two folders on there. I don't really believe that's the case, but that's what they say. Uh, you try it however you want to do it. Anyway, so you put it on there, and I'm going to turn on the uh, car, on the truck, whatever. Now, I've already got these loaded. You're going to see it's going to flash up here in a second. There's my wife and I. Look at that. All right, and waiting for it to go. There's the off screen. So this is what you're going to get. All right, so let's go to the apps right there to setup, general, and then from there, you're going to look, and I'm going to try to do this picture a little bit darker so I think it'll stand out better. You're looking for 
something it says about the screen. So there we go. So customize startup image, customize screen off image. So obviously the startup is when you turn it on and the off is a setting and we'll show you that in a second. So anyways, you go to the startup screen. Now again, I've got these two pictures loaded, but this is the same exact process. You see I've got another picture I could load, but I'm gonna show you the same exact process uh, and you're gonna end up with how I have it. So you hit transfer. And it's going to ask you, basically, you're going to transfer the picture from your flash drive into the uh, system. So, yes, you do want to do that. And it takes a minute or two. I, I say a minute or two. It takes a moment. Oh, that was actually quite fast. Um, and then, now the picture is, is uh, transferred from the flash drive into the system. And you simply pick the one that you want at, in this case, startup. So, I'm going to pick the one of my wife and I. And I've highlighted it. Hit OK. It's going to go through a little bit of a motion here, and there you go. And then I'm going to go to the screen off image, and I'm going to go through the uh, same process just for demonstration's sake. And there we go. And for the off screen, I'm going to pick the uh, picture of my truck in Sedona because it's a, just a beautiful picture, if I do say so myself. There we go. All right, so now they are in there. I'm gonna go back, and let's see. I'm gonna do. Let's go through the process again, just so you can see. So I've got to turn. I'm turned off. When I turn it on, there you go. It flashes just for a moment. I wish it would stay on longer, but it just flashes. Kind of a nice little. Hey there. Um, and then let me show you how you get that screen off. This is how the screen normally looks, right? It's usually on audio or navigation or whatever. But if you go to apps and you go to setup, there is this button down here to screen on or off. If you hit that, this stays up. So I'm going to, I actually just turned the ignition on or I turned the switch on, not the full ignition. So hold on a second. All right, it's going to go through the setup again flash you know does all this sort of thing but so that's my normal uh thing now if i hit audio or i turn the radio on or whatever this goes away um but it actually ends up going back to that at some point so this is what i drive around with all day long which is kind of like you know having your picture of your children on your desk right but it's pretty neat i like it so hopefully that helps <laughs> let me know if you have any questions or comments although really i've explained the entirety of the process it's so simple to do uh, i don't think you'd have any questions if you follow exactly the steps i just did hope that helps